Hi, I wanted to go over the article system, some updates that we made to the articles or blog system. As you may have already known, if you go to a website management and go to a single website, you have some article settings that allow you to add articles to your site. You can either add the generic articles that SailCore provides, um, or you can write articles yourself and add them to your site or you can add articles if your company is a subscriber and you get the articles this way. Um, this allows you this allows you to title your blog or your articles, which would be on the page here. You can see that the URL will always be um, your domain name slash articles. Um, but you can see that the article, this label here is part of this section here. So title blog, if I want to change that back to articles, I can do that here and you can see that this would change when I refresh so it's now articles um, I'm gonna add articles that I write now to get to articles we go to websites and we have article management which is the furthest tab and you can see one that I was already working on um, you can add as many articles as you would like you can actually go into the edit and you can if you have a broker level access, you have scope as broker, but if you only have user, you'd only have the user level. You can have draft or active, and if you wanted to delete articles, you could simply go down to the save changes and delete. What we have is, if I share this article across scope, that's really only good for broker level. Um, you wouldn't have that as just a user but I can remove the standard header header previous articles only allowed a single format which you would have this summary image um, your title and some of the bylines and dates if you put those in and it has a summary text if I read the article you would see the summary image here and then you would see a repeat of the summary text and the title and whatever options that you chose and then this would be the content of the article below it and the update enables you to customize all of this so that when you come in you actually can change the look and feel and everything to do with the article so this is what we're going to go over come in here you have details which is going to which are going to allow you to change the article details you could change the title the the subtitle your byline and your summary you can also create a publish date if you want this to show up tomorrow, you can actually put tomorrow's date and it won't show up today. Uh, you can choose whether or not you want to show the date or not. You can also expire an article. You can set an ex expiration date or you can click the no expiration so that it never expires. You actually have the option, if you use the standard header, you can use the masthead image, which if we go back and look at one of the previous articles, you can see that that masthead image would be this big image here and then you have the title across the top but if I want to get rid of all of those things and then you also have the summary image that would show up on that summary page uh, you can also choose to remove the standard article header which would be by selecting this and on this article I've done that and basically what that means is it is going to remove all of the standard content and it's going to create a blank page where you can use this editor here article editor and create it from scratch now this allows you to create very specific um, drop-in merge tags or very specific uh, tags or uh, basically fields from your article that you could just drop in especially and you could also include your agent name and company name and so forth so these are merge tags so what happens is this subtitle article title would appear here I threw in an image uploaded the image here went to publish date and article byline down here threw in some extra text made a button down here using the different options in my block you have these options in here for the editor and I added a button to go back to the blog so when everything is said and done the article ends up looking 
like this, which is exactly what we saw in the editor. And that does it. If you have any questions or would like some extra training on that, feel free to email helpdesk at SailCore and we will help you out. Thank you so much.